hello hello everyone welcome back on today's video i'm gonna show you how i made this mackenzie's child inspired christmas bowl ornament the first thing that i did is i measured from the top center of the bowl i measured one inch around because i'm going to mark mark a circle i know there should be an easier way to make this but this is just what came to my mind so i did it this way So I pre-cut a one inch square in a cardboard and I used this template to make square just below where I mark the line for my top circle. So now I'm going to do a checker pattern. So now I'm going to fix the line at the top that I marked the circle because I want the, that line to connect the squares. Now I'm going to take a painter's pen in the color black and I'm going to mark all around my squares. So now I'm going to start painting the squares. Remember, it's going to be on a checker pattern. Now I'm going to use this color green and I'm going to take and I'm going to paint the top of the ball. Remember where I marked that circle? So that I'm going to paint it um, this green color.
and now the bottom part of the bowl I'm going to paint it red. So I gave like three coats of each color and then I took my hot glue gun and I made a hole at the bottom of the bowl because that's where I'm going to insert my tassel. So after I finished giving three coats of paint, I took this rose oleum clear gloss and I painted the bowl. So to make my tassel, I have these four colors of cord and I cut it, I cut the strings around 12 inches, um, no I think it was 14 inches, so then when I fold it in half, it's around, the tassel is going to be around 7 inches long. So now I'm going to do a gathering knot with a piece of black string. So I took three hooks that I used to hang the ornaments on a Christmas tree and I tied them together um, to that way I can pass the string of my tassel through the ball.
now I took some ribbon trim and I put um, I glued some in between the checkers and the red color at the bottom of the ball and I also did the same at the top in between the checkers and the green color now I took some gold flat back beads and I glue them in between the black checker squares or the black squares Well guys, hope you liked this video. Remember to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Be safe everyone.